we're waking up very, very early today. We're going up for a nice hike over a mountain or volcano, I don't know what it is, for the sunrise. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm very tired. Yeah, me too. Let's enjoy it. took us complete opposite way of where everyone else is going. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. So we will set up here. Then after sunrise we can go to the highest point. Oh brilliant. But now here is sunrise. This sunrise will come here. Hopefully with the sun, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Well Sorry, done babe. Yeah. Around 10 minutes past 6. So 10 minutes past 6. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Wow. How do you feel? I'm so hot. I don't know why they're saying layer up like right. crazy. I'm fucking boiling. Fuck. I think also the humidity doesn't help. Yeah, just so damp my clothes. Ooh. Banana sandwich. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> 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 High five. <laughs> <laughs> about climbing Mount Victoria is it's really steep um, and so if you're going to do it make sure you bring the correct footwear I saw people coming up in Converse and I thought may God bless you because that is going to be a very difficult journey as well when you get to the top it's cold and sweaty and raining for us at least so we didn't get that you know luxurious sunrise we were hoping for but it was definitely a really good walk and to see the active volcano with the steam and smoke or whatever um, but it is really steep and really slippery so I think there's something to definitely take into account also I just bring a rain jacket just in case I got quite worried taking my camera out every two seconds um, because it was getting quite wet so that's why I'm recording my phone now that shit ton of sand in my shoe. Oh, yeah. Some people wearing ankle socks, I thought. Oh, yeah. God. Definitely wear boots, probably, the best. Or, like, 
Oh, what we're wearing, I feel like. I mean, it's okay. Don't wear white shoes. Either. Oh yeah, definitely not. One thing is for sure, I need a shower and a shit. And the, also you get a, you get food up the top, which is like a banana sandwich with a boiled egg and like a, pretty much like a chocolate, chocolate bar. bar. Yeah. And some tea and coffee. Oh, here comes one of those cleats for the lazy people. Boy. A few hours later, we're now in Padang Bay waiting to get on our boat tomorrow to the Gili Islands. But I'm now just going to talk about was climbing Mount Batu worth it? I'm going to talk about the positives and the negatives. I'll let you guys decide whether you want to do it or not when you come to Bali. So I'll start off with the positives. We had an amazing tour guide. He really helped us get up there quickly and he really understood what our strengths were. We got up the mountain within an hour, which was quite good for us because we love climbing mountains and we love achieving new goals and ticking these mountains off our bucket list. That is a huge positive for us. It was also amazing to see an active volcano for the first time in my life, at least be on one. That was quite amazing for both of us, seeing the smoke and, and all the steam um, was quite a new experience for us and it could be a new experience for you lot as well. But moving on to the negatives, which I think overrules all the positives, if I'm honest. I don't like to be negative on this channel about my experiences, but just because we didn't get a sunrise, we got up super early and we still missed the sun, well the sunrise never came for us. Um, was it worth it? Loads of people, no sunrise, early morning, for me wet and wet and sweaty and cold all at the same time. Are you willing to do that just to see some smoke at the top of a mountain? If you are, that's, that is great. Go ahead and do it. But a lot of people probably won't be. Um, that's why I'm saying, is it worth it? Would I do it again? Now, if I was going to get this same result what I got today, I probably wouldn't do it again. Of course, there is a huge possibility that you will see the sunrise, but there is also a possibility you won't, like we did. But I'm not telling you not to do it. I'm just helping you understand whether it's for you or not. Waking up at 2 in the morning to then get to the meeting point at 4, start climbing the mountain which is really busy really steep really slippery um, wet cold sweaty at the same time get to the top no sunrise go back down and that's it i'll let you make your own decision on that but i hope this video was useful for you and seeing us ascend to the top and also coming back down as well as this information that i've given you based on how i feel about the experience if it was then please give a like on this video and comment all your suggestions that you feel if you have done it or if you feel about doing it and I can answer those questions for you as well. If you enjoyed this kind of content of traveling and exploring the world then please subscribe because we have so much content on my channel already as well as more to come. Thank you for watching, go watch the other videos because they're good like this one. Cheers! <laughs>